my channel. Um, I'm Annette from Net Sews, and this is my video channel about sewing and what I've been up to. So welcome to everyone who's been here before and welcome to anyone who's new. Um, I've got a little bit of a different backdrop today. I'm in the same room, but um, I'm packing. Well, I've been packing for ages and I'm not going very far. But um, basically this is my daughter's bedroom and even though she doesn't live with us anymore, it's still her bedroom and we've moved the bed. So I usually sit on the bed and do these videos. So we've moved the bed, it's up against the wall, I'm surrounded by chaos, boxes, and yeah, but it's the only place I can get any peace and quiet. So this, as I say, this is my channel. You, Woody usually appears, but I don't think he will today because um, he usually comes and plonks himself on the bed next to me and the, um, there's no bed. So he might make an appearance, but he won't stay, I doubt. So what have I been up to? Um, yeah, it's been, I can't remember when I last vlogged actually, it's been a while, I think. I keep meaning to do it and I don't know, time just, time just flies. So I'll tell you what I'm wearing to start with. I'm wearing the Sagebrush Top. This is by the Friday Pattern Company and it's the Sagebrush Top, I've just said that. <laughs> um, I bought this material from Rach, Rach Stitched Up, Rachel, Rach Stitched Up. Um, she's one of the Northern Soul Sisters, so I bought this material in her D-stash, it's lovely. don't think I've got a lot left, I can't remember now, but um, yeah, I managed to get the sagebrush out of it. It's a viscose, I think, yeah, fairly thick viscose actually. Um, I made a few modifications, I've lengthened it by about an inch and a half, I think I did the size 14, I always go for a size 14. Um, I've lengthened the sleeves, so I don't, I can't remember how much I added on, quite a bit. You think I should end there and then, so yeah, I just kind of like hacked away and lengthened the sleeves. Um, I originally put some elastic in actually that sat the sleeves up here. Um, yeah, but it was so tight. I wore this yesterday, I went to the sewing social yesterday and I wore this blouse yesterday with my jeans. So I've just popped it on today for my video. Um, so it literally needs to go in the wash. It's probably very a bit squiffy. Oh wow, I've just noticed a thread hanging there. All day yesterday I went out wearing this and <laughs> never saw that random thread. Never mind. So Woody's here. <laughs> say hello, Woods. Come and say hello. Oh you probably jump up. Up. You probably won't be able to see him because I um I landscape it. Jump up, up, say hello, up, come on up. I'm squawking. No, you probably won't be able to see him because I chop the bottom of the video off, so you probably won't see him. Come on, up. He says there's nothing to get on, Mum. I don't know what you're on about. <laughs> anyway, he's just come to say hello. Where was I? Uh, yeah, so I wore this yesterday, the semi social. Really, really like it. Um, the pattern you you make a tie and tie at the back oh i've left that off i've just literally joined it at the back with a bias tape so i've gone bias tape all the way around and i've joined it i've made one of these before and i put a button and a little loop there but i realized that you don't actually have to undo it i can just yank it over my head um so there's no point putting the button and a loop so i've just done the uh, the bias um, yeah, so that's that. I, I did, I used my Bias Tape Appreciation Society. It's got makeup on it. I'm trying to avoid showing you that because it's probably got makeup on it because I've yanked it on and off really quickly just. Um, yeah, it needs to go in the wash. But I just thought I'd wear it to show you. I feel a bit nervous today. I don't know. I feel like I'm, yeah, it's not, not really smooth. Um, yeah, I feel nervous. I don't know why. Anyway, probably because I know Steve's downstairs and he can hear me. And he always takes. So, what else have I made? I forgot to. Well, I should. No, no. Oh, he's just banged into the ironing board. I've got the ironing board propped up here. 
when I um, last vlogged, I mentioned what I was making and I forgot to mention that I'd cut out the Danny jacket. So that was next on my list of things to make. I forgot to tell you that. So I've actually made it now. It's finished. Uh, this material was from Guthrie and Garney. I don't know what it's called. It's kind of like a heavyweight check with um, a teddy fleece on the inside. Now, you're probably looking at my seams. I really should have done some kind of like binding on the seams on this but it's it was so thick such thick material and I really I thought I broke my machine at one point I just lost the will so I haven't <laughs> I French seamed the hood because I thought well that's going to be glaringly obvious isn't it when you're wearing it so I did French seam the seams on the hood but everything else I've just do you know what I'm going to wear it just for casual walking the dogs I'm not really fussed. I have actually bought <laughs> the keys in my pocket. I have actually bought some bias tape just to edge the sleeves, which I probably, if I get around to it, I will do that because when you're wearing it, sometimes they kind of like so you've got it on and they stick out at the bottom. If you're not, I don't know, maybe it's because I don't wear it fastened or so yeah, I think I need to sort that out because that looks a bit like raggedy hands, doesn't it? Um, yeah, so. That's the Danny jacket by Atelier Dupe. Really like it. I've worn it quite a lot actually. I thought it was going to be one of those makes that I make and I wouldn't wear it that much, but I do like it. I've worn it a lot. It's meant to be my dog walking throw on coat, so we'll see. Um, what can I say about it? I lengthened it by about two inches. Oh, did I? I don't know. Terrible blogger, aren't I? Um, I think I did maybe not and then I bought a prim popper snap tool the pliers I watched a few videos I watched Lauren from Guthrie and Garney and I watched other people and it looked so easy well let me tell you it was not I really broke my thumb and I've chipped my tooth <laughs> yeah I one night it took two hours just to get the top one on and I was effing and jeffing and really losing the will and I thought why I don't know I thought maybe it was because it was such thick material but it wasn't that because I tried it on some cotton if you're going woods I tried it on some cotton and I still couldn't I don't know I mean I have got like arthritis in my hands and I suffer from fibromyalgia so I haven't got exactly that I haven't got that much strength in my hands but I got Steve to actually put them on in the end and even he said this is this isn't easy his hands were hurting by the time we'd finished and I got them lined up wrong here so I've ended up when I fastened it it was all like rooked up so I got those two wrong and I thought oh, I can't be bothered to get them off so I've just added another two it's my effect and yeah I chipped my tooth because I don't know what I was doing but I stuck the two together and then I tried to get them apart and now I've got like yeah let's see yeah I've got like a little a little chip 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 in my front tooth great note to self don't try and flip them apart with your teeth again <laughs> so that's the danny jacket by atelier tube uh, yeah i love that one uh, my favorite make for this this month's vlog oops stuck is this i did show you the material so it's a merchant and mills pattern it's the jack tar bag um and this is the dry oil skin in the yellow and I absolutely love this. I'm so happy with it. Really happy with it. I modified it a little bit. I ordered a little bit extra. So I've got I've got a pocket, a big front pocket on. It's just another, another piece of going across. So I've got, got those pockets and I've in, I've lined it with the, the twill. And then inside, I think you can see, but I've got the pocket inside. That is actually on the pattern, the pockets inside. And then I also added, look at that. I was so happy with that. I've got a little pocket. That isn't on the pattern. So the pattern just calls for the inside pockets. And the front pocket, I just replicated the inside pocket really to do these on the front. Yeah, quite an easy make. The snap, no teeth involved in that. The magnetic snap, no teeth breaking were involved. 
um, quite easy to do. There weren't any instructions on how to do it, but it was self-explanatory. I did have some more rivets to fight with, yeah. I didn't try and make, do my, do, use my teeth. Um, yeah, they were a bit of a, again, there was no instructions and I had actually got um, a rivet set, luckily. Um, so I did manage to hammer those on. I made a bit of a mess of that one because I got fed up and I just put the detail on it and hacked away with the hammer, but never mind. I say never mind, it's gonna bug me to death, but I'm not taking it apart. Apart from that, I really like it. I made this a week last Sunday and I got up early, I think it's about eight o'clock, and I, and I started to cut it out. And then I thought, I haven't got any thread to match. And I looked what time Hobbycraft opened, and Steve was still in bed. And I thought, I think it opened at nine, was it? And I thought, oh, do you know what? I could get to Stafford and be back before he's, he's even out of bed and got some cotton. Anyway, I thought, don't be silly, you know, just crack on with your sewing. You don't get many days to yourself um, to sew. So it'd be a waste of time travelling to Hobbycraft and back. Anyway, when he got up, I said to him, I want, I want to go to Hobbycraft. And he was like, what for? I said, for some cotton. Well, he laughed his head off. So he took me to Hobbycraft. We went. I bought my yellow cotton. Some beautiful Gutterman yellow thread to match. Uh, yeah, I went backwards and forwards because I picked up the wrong cotton. We were driving home and I was like, oh, look, I love this cotton. And then I realised I'd bought, um, what's it called? Quilting cotton, the, the thicker one. Top stitching, top stitching cotton, so we had to take me back. Then I'd also bought some buttons as well, and we were just driving off again, and I noticed half the buttons, there was only one button in this little box, so there's a button stuck on the outside, and you're supposed to have about seven inside, there was only one, so we had to go back again. So yeah, the hobby craft was a bit of a drama. And then I sewed the bag together, and as I was looking at it, kind of like tidying it up, I thought, this thread doesn't look very yellow. Flicked the top of my Janome sewing machine and looked. Had I put my yellow thread in? No. So I hadn't used the bleeping yellow thread. Forgot to put it in. Never mind. <laughs> That's the story behind my jet tar. I bought the zip from Hobbycraft as well. I just love that zip. Love it, love it, love it. I had no clue how to put that in like that. The joy of YouTube, eh? Just love that. So yeah, that's my Jack Tar. And I've used it a couple of times. Frightened to get it dirty. Silly really, a bit obsessive. Uh, I bought this while I was in Hobbycraft. This is just some plain pink cotton and I've washed it and I'm going to make a blouse with that. So I like that. I'm into my pinks. So that was the purchase. Some buttons and a zip and yeah, my yellow thread, which I didn't use. That was my Hobbycraft purchase. So what else have I been up to? That's it for my makes. I've made this, my coat, and my, my, oh no, I lie. This, my coat, and my bag. And then yesterday, when I got up for the um, the social, I popped this, this top on, and I thought, do you know what, this would be nice as a dress. And I thought, I'm sure I've seen, um, the Crafty Pie made a sagebush in a dress. I have got it here. Oh, it's dropped over locking thread everywhere on top of the bed. Yeah, the bed's sideways up the wall, everything, oh, this room, I need to, I'm in the process of packing, but then I've abandoned it, now it's just turning into a bit of a mess. <laughs> anyway, got up yesterday morning, thought this would make a nice dress, uh, tomorrow we're going to my daughter's graduation at Liverpool, so I'm thinking, what's going to wear? So, as I do, I just thought, I know what I'll do, I'll just, I'll take something, make it at the social, to wear for Monday, no pressure. So I, this material I bought, I got off the swaps table last time from Nadia and I've made a sagebush in a dress. I've done the longer sleeves again, the same as I did this one. And I added about, so what I've done, I've added 15 inches onto the length of the body pieces and it falls, it sits just below my knee. I will pop a photograph in, but it's not a brilliant photograph because it's in here and it just, yeah, I'm surrounded by rubbish but um i want to get some better pictures tomorrow so that's my sagebrush dress hack um i have tried it on and I, yeah in the photo you can't see in the photo but when you try it on, it does look a little bit shapeless looks a bit like a sack um and steve says he says you look like wearing a bed sheet so complimentary all the time 
So I am going to take it in just a little bit. I'm going to try and just give it a little bit of shape here. Just pull it in a bit. I'll do that later. I want to take the dogs a walk and then, um, yeah, I'll do that later. But that's how I do the back. That's what I was trying to explain on this one. So I literally just, because you make the two pieces and then they tell you to make um, a bias strip, a long one, and then, you know, you can bow it. And, um, but yeah, I just, I don't bother. Just, I can't be bothered, can't be bothered to faff around with that. And this one's actually a bit wider on the neck. You don't have to, there's no fear of getting makeup on it when you get it on and off. I don't know why. The material's a little bit stretchy actually. It is a cotton lawn, but it's got a bit of a give in it, so maybe that's why it's just come off a bit looser. But yeah, I really like that. So hopefully I'll have some better pictures to show you next time of uh, me and my daughter. She'll be in a cap and gown and uh, yeah. I'm going to wear my Converse with it. I don't know whether to wear my pink Converse or my sparkly Converse. And Steve isn't going to be amused, but I don't care. Because, um, yeah, they're comfy. And I love my Converse. So, yeah, she's getting graduated. She's doing, she's getting graduated. You know what I'm trying to say. I didn't, um, when I graduated, when I did my degree last September, I didn't go to my graduation. I think I just had the life sucked out of me with it all. And I, I just couldn't be bothered. And now I regret it, but never mind. I shall live vicariously through her tomorrow. Um, yes, yeah, so what else have I been up to? I'll show you. I've had a little bit of a cheeky spell. So, Guthrie and Garney, um, yeah, emails. Emails are dangerous things, aren't they? An email popped into my um, inbox about and saying they've got 20% off their remnant, their remnants. Of course, I had to have a look. And I had it delivered to my son's cottage. So, excuse the rustling, because I have literally just opened it and had a peek. And then I thought, I'll save it. Save it to share with you. Carefully picked by Hannah and packed by Lauren. Lovely choices, Megan and the little smiley face. Isn't that lovely? And then Lauren's put on the back, happy sewing, Lauren. I love it when you get a little card. I've said this before. Sometimes you order from companies and like, they just don't bother. They just stick it in a bag and off it goes. And I just think it's lovely when it's a bit personalised. So let me show you what I have got. I've got this. Oh, excuse my stomach's rumbling. In the blue. So what's this one? Sky blue viscose linen. And it's 1.6 metres. That's that one. That's lovely. It feels lovely. Then this is... I think this is the... Yeah, this is the Atelier, Atelier Brunette. Seed cedar viscose fabric. And I've got a metre of that. That's lovely, isn't it? Just want to make some blouses, really. I like that. Look at that. Now this is Fibre Mood. I know without looking. Fibre Mood Sherbet Splash Cotton Fabric. Bold hem piece, one metre. I love that. I feel quite quite posh. I need some Fibre Mood fabric. Hmm? Don't know why. Um, what else? What's this one? Oh, Ecru Textured Cotton Fabric. Bold hem piece, another metre. This is different. It's nice though. But yeah, it's got like a texture to it. That's lovely. Mm, yeah, nice. Make a nice blouse out of that. Um, one metre pieces. I'm going to end up with a load of uh, Donny shirts, aren't I? I always mention that, don't I? In all my videos I've got. It's just, I just, I do love it. But how many do you need? Never mind. Uh, this is marine blue loop back jersey fabric. I didn't realize I'd ordered any jersey. A meter piece again. You can't do a Donny out of jersey. That's nice. Oh, it's got them. Um, you can tell it's off the end, can't you? Never mind. I'm sure, I've got a meter there. Looks more than a meter, actually. One meter by 140. Oh no. That's the width, isn't it? That's the salvage edge. <laughs> yeah. 
so that's lovely. Just make a little plain simple top out of that. So that's my uh, my fabric haul for this month. So I've got this as well, this popped in my letterbox and I've not opened it yet. This is from the Bias Tape Appreciation Society from the Specky Seamstress. So I thought I'll just open this with you. March's, March's month. Oh yeah, I really like that. Woody's trying to get out. Woods, come sit down. And just ooh, a couple more things to show you. I'll just show you. Last time I showed you these. These are my bears. Um, they weren't finished, but they're finished now. So that's the, the one bear that I did show you. They were both naked. I've got two naked bears, so now they're dressed. He's got a little coat on. And then this one, I showed you him too, he was naked, but I've shaded his eyes. Can you see his eyes? Because I hadn't done that last time. He's got a little, little place suit on, little night, little night gown. <laughs> so that's those. And I've also been making some geese. I want to sell these in my Etsy shop, so this is the one I've made. This is the pattern by Elf Little Things, I think it is. Um, so that's the one, not finished. And then I've got one that is finished. <laughs> I just think they're really cute. I like ducks and hens, and as you know, I've got chickens. So that's my, uh, that's my geese. So that's it. I've been sat doing those in the evening. I finished my book, Wayward. I enjoyed it, yeah, it was good. Not not outstanding, but it was good. It was a good read. Um, I'm reading, let me show you. Adele Parks, just between us at the minute. And what's it about? I couldn't, oh yeah, a woman that's been murdered and she's been married to two different men. I keep forgetting what it's about because I haven't really got time to to read. Um, so yeah, but it is good. I love Adele Park. She's usually um if I could really just have the time and sit and concentrate and read, I, I'd, I'd probably enjoy it more. And that's the problem with me and reading because I don't get the time and I dip in and out. I can't really get into it. But yeah, that that's um that's a really good book. Um, I don't know what else to say about it really. <laughs> So I'm going to go, I feel like I forgot something, let me just look at my notes, I have to make notes, it's all right, no, no, that's it, short and sweet this month, oh I will pop some pictures in of the sewing social, I'll just mention that, I uh, went to the sewing social yesterday, it was the, their first birthday, that's not my story, that was the dog making his moaning noise. It was the first birthday for the Sewing Social yesterday and we had a fantastic day. It was lovely. I got there late as usual and everyone was wearing um, flower, flashing flower headbands. So we, we'd all got those. We got party poppers. There was a gift on the table, which oh, I haven't got here to show you. But um, yeah, we got a gift of, it's to put your cottons in, like this little box to put your cottons in. Um, so that was lovely. That was really thoughtful of Sally. To do that for us because the bag and the headband was on the table when you went in it was really sweet what else did she do she did pass the parcel bless it, it was so funny i can't remember the last time i played pass the parcel well i must have been a child i remember doing it for my children but actually playing it yeah it was fun we all stood in a circle and, and yeah played past the parcel it was she was going alexa play 80s music it was taking ages and yeah yeah it was good anyway waffling on we had birthday cake i took my i had because yeah there's always loads of cake and loads of food so i had um a cream donut and then i took two pieces of birthday cake back for mom and dad because my mom and dad live in cannock so the same socials in Penkry. so i usually if i get time i nip back and see my mom and dad drive to cheslin hay and then um, yeah so i took them birthday cake my dad loved it my dad's getting worse actually i think i've mentioned before he's yeah he's getting a lot worse he can't seem to string his words together and sure it's dementia we say we've not had a diagnosis or anything and my mum's 
she's coping with him better than she was we had a rocky patch a few weeks ago um, which i think she hides it a lot that, that's what worries me she doesn't tell me but yeah i think she's okay but yeah i noticed yesterday he was eating his cake and just i don't know i just yeah he was worse yesterday he's definitely getting worse but anyway he enjoyed his cake he said it was sticky um what else did we do with the sewing social? We had the raffle. There was three raffle prizes this time. I don't know if Sally um, manages to to fund it because you know we all pay like weekly, but I'm sure it doesn't cover the raffle prizes because they're always really lovely prizes. Anyway, so yeah, who won? Who won? She, Sarah, Nadia, and you know I forgot. Anyway, you'll see on the pictures. Sarah and Nadia, who else won? I don't know. But yeah, there were three lovely raffle prizes. Oh, Ruth. Ruth won again. Again, Ruth always wins. If you're watching this, Ruth, what, you know, you're just lucky. Um, and what else did we do? Lots of sewing, lots of laughter. I felt like I was a bit quiet, actually. I've been a bit, it's been a bit of a funny week. I had a bit of hassle with my son, as usual. I just felt a little bit. Yeah, I've been a bit depressed this week, a bit down, but um, you don't want to hear all about that, and I'm okay. It's just one of those, isn't it? Plod on, sewing keeps me going. But yeah, I did feel like I was a bit quiet, but I really enjoyed it, and I just, yeah, I can't tell you the friendships. It means so much to me. We're all going shopping, um, we're on a shop going on a shopping trip on the 4th of May, so I'm looking forward to that. That's unless that we're moving, because... Yeah, things are very moving. Oh, ugh. <laughs> things are moving very fast with our move, and it'll be sod's law. We'll be moving the fourth of May weekend, but I doubt it. I'll still be sat here in June in this room full of boxes. Yeah, going silently crazy. Solicitors, I don't know what they do. I need to pull the finger out the bottom. So that's me, I'm going to go. Um, thank you for watching. Um, any likes and comments? Thanks for everyone who's commented last time. I need to have a look actually if anyone else has commented. So if I haven't replied to you, I do apologise. Don't get notifications and I, yeah, I mean to keep checking and then I forget. But I do appreciate everyone's likes and comments. So thank you. I'm going to go, I'm going to go and walk the dogs. Nice to, uh, nice to see you all. <laughs> Bye. Okay, go for it. Okay, I can't see my pajama bottoms. Hair's not too greasy. It all mixed. I think I need to. Oh, I don't like it. I've got old lady lipstick on. Oh well. Right, I'm gonna go for it. Nose is running. It's just not a good angle. <coughs> oh wow! Now you can see the pajama bottoms. I think I better to cut them off now. Is that better? Okay, off we go.